Okay, I think we are coming at you live with another show match event. Tonight is dedicated to my favorite Brood War community member and leader, the biggest financial sponsor of Brood War outside of Korea, the man, the legend, Russ Brain, who okay. brought us the Russian Cyber Games. This year's prize pool, by the way, is over $10,000. Please do donate. The BWG's Weekly and more. He sponsored countless of events and series, including the mighty, bombastic Star League run by Zero. We know Russ Brain loves StarCraft. We know he has money. We know that he's very generous and cares enough about foreign BW scene to spend his hard-earned dollars on competitive players. Pato, what we don't know is if he can play StarCraft 2. Whom? We have an exclusive show match with him tonight i'm very excited about it i'm never this excited i'm joined by my vodka bottle i never drink but for rust brain i'm making expect exception it's a russian standard vodka bottle very good so tonight rust brain verse ash return and a for the swarm zerg versus zerg show match it doesn't matter if you don't know a lot about zbz i'm here to help you pato hmm. i know all about the spawning pool i know go, all go, about go. the spire go 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 i feel i feel pretty confident i now, know man. all about the gas he knows all about the big gas. hype big event and Good. afterwards we got kare which i like to pronounce as care Verse cross a cash prize best of five show match. Uh, but first, Rust Brain versus Ash Return on Neo Sulfit ZVZ. Hey, uh, this is the best off. It's none of your business, Petto. It's a best of five. A five, okay. Yes, Sorry. sir. You don't have to apologize, man. Okay, I didn't. I was just joking. Um, hey, uh, okay, we're going to start uh, without you, Suck. He may I join can't. us and oh. Hello. other casters. Can you not hear me? Perhaps Doc Holiday yes. if uh, he's going to join. Here we go. Game one. Wow. <laughs> he's ignoring you. He's muted me, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Rust Brain at 12 o'clock in the sexy magnetic color. Mining minerals with his drones. I never, I never seen Russ Brain play, to be honest. This is an exclusive Think Quick show match featuring. And at return, I think he's from concert. Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. I know he's him. from Russia. From? And uh, you, are you talking about return? Yeah, return. I'm not sure actually. So he, his AKA on the Discord is Albert Schulm. Schulm. Okay. Very good manner player and we got some messaging going back and forth uh to my casters who joined the voice channel free free to unmute yourself and join us but the game has already started so you will have to i think you have yeah. you have muted you suck i believe he cannot unmute himself when i mute him he is unmuted you suck are you there yeah, I sent you a couple messages. Did you catch those, bro? I don't want to look at them right now because I feel they're going to have a lot of negative energy in them. So they might have I'm a little bit. Focus in the ZVZ. <laughs> but they're, they're on your they're on your view, Brood War screen if you want to see them. No, I'd rather not watch them right now. We got a spawning pool going down for Ash Return. And it looks like Rust Brain has put down a spawning pool. And an extractor. This CVZ is going all right. Hmm. So I wish I I could have something to say about it. I I know that top pool isn't that good below order, but uh, I think it's better to do a, a an over pool. But uh, again, I'm not an expert. And who is doing the build that you feel is not the best? Uh, they're both, build they're both doing the same build, almost the same Oh, I build. love it then. Then it's the best build there is. 
We got a hatch at the natural of Ash Return. We got some Zerglings making. Well, Ross Rain is banking some minerals. So maybe he can through. He can throw got a layer there. down. Yeah. So that's going to be his strategy. And Ash Return is upgrading Zergling speed. Look at this APM. Is your APM 350, Pato? No. No, it is not. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, just, I, didn't, I didn't actually know. I thought maybe it was, but I was just joking. Look at those Zerglings go. He has 350 <laughs> APM, but only two drones on the gas. That is all so, part of so, the plan. So I wonder <laughs> how he used them. How he used them. This He's is up now, Pato. He's up now. They both have two on the gas. What the fuck? That might be a Zerg strategy. Yeah, I, I started the thinking. Well, for, for Russ Brand or Russ Brain, he, he needs because he has thirteen drones. Fourteen now. He needs more. He needs three on gas, but I know why Ash is doing it. Why is Ash doing it? Because he doesn't have enough drones. He's he's he went expansion. He's making zerglings. You have, to keep, you have to keep pumping zerglings. Look at those zerglings go! They got speed. They're gonna be at Rust Brain's base in less than ten seconds. Rust Brain is backing off with his zerglings. He's got his lair done. He has put down a spire and he's put down a crew colony in his main. So I think he's anticipating that his hatchery is going to die and he can't see it. I would it. say so. Seems like Rust Brain is in a good place right now. If he uh -huh. can hold this. No. Come on. No. Well, look. Wait. Don't let him in now. Ooh. That egg is just I really, in a really good role right now, Black. Well, I really think that Return should win this game. Uh, the Spire is more than 50% done for Rust Brain. Uh, yeah. His larva is being used. He's making drones right now. Look, he has so many Zerglings outside his base, and he's just like, you know what? I'm good. I yeah, can hold but it. he doesn't have drones. any larva to do some mutas, so I don't understand why you rush Aspire. Confident. You, if, you yeah. lack the Russian confidence. Yeah. Okay, so Ash Return has not made any more drones at his natural. His fire is more than halfway done. And he's making some drones that is natural now. Contradict me. Well, now Return has more, more drones. An expo. Oh, no. An expo. Same amount of starlings. And he will pop mutas at the exact same time that brain. So... This so has... you're liking his economy more, but he's going to lose as an overlord to a Scorch. It doesn't Bam. matter. Unless Rust Brain has an insane micro control. Yeah. He's this... pushing over 300 APM now. Let's hope that he uh, pulls this off. He's still got an overlord from return right above his lair. And the Scorch are going to take that out. And Return is going to make Mutus. Rustbrain is going to go for Scorch, and he's going to intercept the Mutas that are attacking his Overlord. And I think he's going to get one. Oh, Ooh. he can't sell them. Slight little pods there, eh? Got okay. it. No micro there. See, Return's got a lot more gas than he does, though. I like that strategy because uh, Return was oh. busy with his Overlord. He wasn't expecting that, right? All right. More scores coming. Oh, uh, there goes one. So these are good trade-offs for him so far, return. right? Return, yes, of course. Return has to micro. If not, he will die. Oh, he just took out two overlords. They're both supply blocked. So if these scores just camp, is that what Zerg can do? They can just camp the scores above a hatchery. No. Anticipating for mutas to be made. No, because you... oh. <laughs> He will waste all the gas in the overlords and return will have more mutas. 
Well, not only that, but what happens is is when that overlord first spawns, it's invincible. Like you can you can burn two scorch coming up on an overlord coming up and it won't kill the overlord. I love the scorch strategy. There's a bunch that just got made in Rust Brain space and they're just headed towards returns. We're going to see them do some battle with some mutas. He's pushing almost 400 APM past the seven minute mark. So I think he does have the APM to pull this out. I don't, I don't think Rust Brain knows that he only has one on gas now at this point. It's not about the APM, it's about the micro. Yeah. He really has to I kill think this. he's microing well right now. He really has to and kill this. And look they're about to take out the mutas. I mean, Rust Brain has a thousand minerals. Yeah. And C3 gas. I don't think and he knows. Return has two mutas right now. You know what? Return is also upgrading Kara Space. 25% done. Yeah, but he keeps losing with that to Scorch. He's in microing. So. Rust Brain got uh, two Zerglings in Return's base right now, and they're targeting the drones that are gathering gas. Definitely turned around. A Muta. Got one drone at least. Here's a Muta. So and they're... that A Muta is kicking some ass. This is this is where you're, whenever you're throwing these lings in, this is where you make a hidden expansion or something. I think returns like what the fuck, man! I got a bunch of scorch coming into my base right now. So he's well, he's a little thrown off maybe, but he's got quite a few mutas. His economy looks pretty good. I think this is over. Mm-hmm. There too. Too many. His muta guys. counts are looking good, right? He's got seven. Yeah, against someone with not even a hundred gas at this point. And supply blocked. That one muta though, it's kicking ass. It's got a kill, and it's gonna fly away. Oh, look at that scorch braid. Russ Brain is going to put down two colonies. I think he's going to try to make a spore, but is it too late? He's already losing one too many drones. Yep. Can he come back from this? No. Drones are being taken out. Yeah, Return's got Wars 20. up. That's just looking nice. He's got his expansion. Rust Brain cannot hold his expansion. Huge supply difference, 13 to 42. I think Rust Brain can do it. What do you guys think? Oh, not the chance. Go well. Good game. Who spells out good game? Rust Brain does. That's who. So game one goes to return. In this For the Swarm show match featuring the biggest supporter, sponsor of Foreign Brood War, Mr. Rustbrain. Let's see what the next map is going to be in this best of five. And we have Bombastic Clips. You keep. You he keeps telling here. me valid password whenever I'm... And we are waiting for why you suck, TQ. This is our TQ. Our server is Patro. Restart the computer. Yeah. Go, go. Ugh. And we're going to start the game, you suck. Is that okay? No, no. Give me just a sec. I'll be right oh, okay. Because when you said yes to his request. You have to restart your computer? I've never had that happen before. I've restarted. No. Like... Just keep trying. You're tuning in for TQ show match events tonight. We have Russ Brain versus Ash Return, aka Albert Shaw. I hope I pronounced his name correctly. Apologies if I did not. We have one more show match after this a cash prize one there we between go. Care 
also known as Kare, which is probably the more accurate pronunciation of his uh, name. First, so I cross. was right. Pato was I right. I didn't have to restart my computer. I just restarted Brood War. Well, it made me happy. Pato is always right. Yeah, <laughs> because I played there. And he eats chicken on Fridays. Yay. Here we go. Ash return. Upper right. Zergi receives a good luck and a heart from Rust Brain. Two good lucks. Some good manner here, but I think in their minds they're thinking, you know what? I really want to let this other Zerg have it. Thank you, Pepto. Thank you. Think quick. So what are we going to see this matchup? I think I would see the exact same build order from both of them. That would be wonderful and lovely. See, I actually played a ZVZ on this map recently, and I thought, okay, thin, thin ramp, get my gas early, tech fast, and you know, harass with Mutus, but I was wrong. I, I, I really feel like 12 pool layer is the best build you can possibly do. Why is that? Your your link count stays active and high enough to defend. Your layer timing is good enough to keep up with the other Zerg. You can expand off of that. Uh, I, I got absolutely smashed. Because I went gas pool thinking, okay, I've got higher gas count. He can't get up my ramp, so I'm going to have a higher mute account, and no. You know what your problem is? You don't have almost 500 if you have, like, rust brands. All right, so we're seeing some action here. Drones are mining minerals. Extractors are making. Spawning pools are being spawned very slowly. And eggs are about to pop with drones. <clears throat> So I think Both Return not. is going to make some Zerglings, and I think he's going to upgrade speed. Similar strategy as last game, unless he gets a Lair and proves me wrong. Oh. Okay. Nice. So I am proven correct, and Return is making Fastlings, and it looks like so is Rustbrain, who is mining with one drone. Out of the extractor, return is mining with two drones. Pato, it seems like the Zergis have their own sort of like drone count when it comes to mining gas. Unlike Terrans, who are lazy and just place three SCVs in their refinery. Zergling is running around, being sexy. See, Russ Brain took the. Smart path there. Ah, oh, he got his lane caught up though. I hope that he's using shift and tab because it's very hard to see returns uh, unit color on this map. Black blends in pretty nicely. Yeah. And the eclipse. Whereas uh, Rust Brain's color is very evident to see. I kind of respect it when people play this sexy color, right? Because it's so noticeable on the map that if you don't do the tab and shift. Um, I always tab and shift. It's maybe really good me. players are used to doing that. For me, it's mandatory. There are some players who pick the uh, black color, right? Hoping that you don't. And uh, they get that advantage of blending in with the background. So you can't see as well on the map. But... I don't expect this is a thing at a very high level, like we're seeing right now. Spire is down in Return's base. Lair is making in Rustbrain's base. This isn't looking good for Rustbrain, right? Yeah, it's definitely uh, Ash Return's advantage. I so like the, only thing so. Really, the only thing you'd really hope for at this point that right there, maybe pick off a couple links, force him to make a couple more Zerglings while he keeps his drone count a little bit higher, but the gas the gas advantage, the, lay, the Spire timing advantage, I mean, they're all kind of in Return's favor at the moment. But now, listen, Rustbrain made some great trades last game with the Scorch. 
I feel like he really – he prolonged the game even though he was – his opponent had the advantage quite a while. He's got his uh, Spire making right now. Good drone count at 11 for return, 13 for Rust Spring. He's going to put down a creep colony just to be safe. Spire is almost made for return. He saved his larva, so I think he's going to make three mutas. I what, don't I'm, what, I'm, what I'm hoping happens here is kind of what Russ Brain, I think, I think, is hoping for as well. He's hiding his Zerglings. He's hoping that return will go out like last game so he can sneak in and pick a couple drones off while Russ Brain has two Sunkins chilling. Ah, oh, they're doing more than chilling. They're doing a little killing, doing a little filling. I'm a little excited about this show match, so I'm sorry if I weirded out my co-casters here. So we got a two meters from return, flying towards Rust Brain's base. Doesn't have any anti-air yet, but his spire has just made, and uh, he's making mutas which are going to take a little longer to make than the Scourge, so he might lose, I'm guessing, three drones. And this might hurt. Yeah. He's lost two so far. Oh, this is major. He may, he may lose. Oh. He didn't lose that last one. Had seven, six HP. Oh, this is not looking good for Rust Brain. He, he doesn't have much anti-air here. I think he realizes this, and that's why he's making the Scorch. I like how his lings are kind of positioned in a weird part of the map. 12 o'clock. Just kind of hit him. <clears throat> Second hatch has been made, so that's going to give him a little advantage here. No, Pato? Well, yes, yeah. Yeah, that awful. is going to give him a big advantage. Hmm. Okay, so now they're both supply block. Pato, who do you think is going to win this? Right. Why? Second hatch. Yep, second hatch is huge. Huge. It's huge. But will he have the micro? Oh, no, no. Oh my god. He, he's, he plays mind games with the scores. You see that? He occupies you with something, and then bam, here they come. I like that. So we don't have any upgrades for return. I guess you can't really afford that on one base. Both are mining out of their extractors with three drones. I like this combination of Scourge and Mutus for Rust Brain. Return has six mutas flying across the map, and there's one uh, behind them, bringing him to a total of seven. We have five mutas so far for Rust Brain, four Scorch. Big shout out to everybody in the channel right now. Numbers. Big shout out if you're watching this, especially because Rust Brain, the biggest sponsor of Foreign Brood War, is playing. Look at this muta battle. Oh my god, I can't believe Return just took that on. And yeah, yeah Rust Brain just came out on top. Four mutas, decent health. He's making more Scourge and Lings. Well, it's like a, it's like a Pato said earlier, that extra hatch. I mean, Return's still sitting on 500, uh, 500 gas. Um, and he just left his base with his lings. I think he needs to buy some time. Feeling that the mutas are headed to his base, and he's right. Uh, Russ Brain's got a good enough economy in the second hatch. He's, he's pumping out his own zerglings. I think he oh, might have balls on return. He's got a hatchery making it his natural. Okay, hopefully he cancels this hatchery. Oh, he lets it die again. Whoa, that, that hurts. I think it's a psychological mind game that he's making. Oh, my. Look at these. And Rust Brain has just broken in with several Zerglings. Sunken is going to try to take care of them. Zerglings are going to target some drones. Took out one. 
Took out two. And the meters are going to take out a few drones. This is not looking good. Return does not have anything right now to defend against this. We're not seeing a GG from him, so he must have some sort of backup plan here. See, watch the Scourge right here. Let's see if it does it right here. See that? It did zero damage to that Mutalisk. That's why you never camp your Scourge over top of a, a popping Muta. It must be a psychological mind game that's being played. Whatever it is, it's working. Because Return has four drones right now. Yeah, he's got that second 12 drones from my brain. Yeah. But he does have a hatchery at his natural. He's going to mine minerals with his drones that were mining gas. Right here, this is all you gotta do. This hurts. Drones. Oh. Oh my god. Russ <clears throat> Brain. I think he's got this. But Return is not leaving the game, so I think he's got some sort of trick up his sleeve. Mineral hack, perhaps? Dying slower? Dying slowly, yeah. Building <laughs> an extractor somewhere far off and delaying the end of the game. <laughs> Yusuk knows that. He's, he's done that a lot. Yo, I'm not going to lie. This Korean pissed me off. Okay, so I created a new account. So Ox has been getting on me. You should play one versus one. You should, you know, get back into it a little bit. And I'm like, I suck. But okay, so I created a new account. Little did I know I created it on the Korean server. So needless to say, I got thrashed pretty hard. And uh, Korean Damn. pissed me off. I don't know what he said, but I know it wasn't pleasant. So <laughs> I wasn't there. And How do you I know created, it wasn't pleasant? It could have just been I, you're a wonderful I, human being. I ran like four or five SCVs all over that damn map, starting to build supply depots, lifting my fucking buildings, spread them out everywhere, built some shit in his base. And whenever he was about to kill it, I canceled it and built something else somewhere else. And then lastly, disconnected. I sh that would have been awesome, dude. I sh totally should have done that. No, you shouldn't have because you don't know what he said. He may have just said, this was a wonderful game. No. Thank you for your time. No, I guarantee you he did not. <sighs> I scouted his his proxy pro rush because he's cheese dick and be. Like you know what? Return has kind of come back, but I don't think he realizes the gap that exists between his economy and the number of units he has. And look at all these scorch, man. Oh Return my has returned. Six six just popped. He's yeah, but six. has he returned to the point where he's just going to get killed even more? Nah, he's definitely going to die, yeah. I'm with Pato on that. Never be with Pato on anything. Eight versus 21 drones. Hmm. Just encourages it. See, now, I will say this. I do not agree with pumping drones constantly whenever your opponent was down to three drones. You just keep sending shit. Just keep him down. Don't let him get any kind of comeback going at all. There goes an OV. I love watching scores just kind of fly around with confidence, not knowing what the fuck's going on. And then watching mutas run away from them, it brings me so much pleasure and joy. So three of his mutas are down to 15 hit points, effectively. He's supply blocked right now if we're talking about return. Is, is Russ Brain just enjoying torturing his opponent? Because that's what it well, really I think he's like. being careful a little bit, right? He knows exactly what his opponent has, though. <laughs> like, he just sent a Scourge into his base. Part of the psychological mind game that he's playing. Yes, man. He's not called Russ Brain for nothing. But here comes at least his death. And Mutus. He's got to be careful, though. Those are a lot of Scourge. Gonna dodge, kill, dodge, kill, dodge, and here we go. Return coming in. The rest of his mutas, which look like they don't want to be there. Is this the <laughs> end of return? It looks like it. He's given a good game with a smiley face. Good game from Russ Brain. So I guess this is a new thing. You have to spell out GG from now on. <laughs> 
uh, what you just said earlier reminded me of a show I used to watch. It's called Duralius and Associates. Fucking hilarious Flash cartoon, man. If you've never heard of it, you should definitely go check it out. Duralius and Associates for some good laughs. Game three. And this for the swarm show match between Rust Brain and Ash Return. If you don't know who Rust Brain is, you should. He's brought you the Russian Cyber Games, ten thousand dollar prize pool right now. BWG's weekly. I think it's a hundred dollar tournament each week. He sponsored numerous events and series, including Bombastic Star League. Run by Zero, Think Quick Show Match Series, and many, many more. So he loves StarCraft. He has money, and we're learning that he can play as well. Here we go. I'm Polypoid. Rust Brain, top right. Magneta is his choice. Ash Return in a lovely color. Purple. Bottom right. Some messages back and forth. Ash Return is interpreting these as oh my messages. And have you seen this? Look at Russ Brain. He's going five pool. And Russ Brain is fucking with Ash Return. And his psychological mind game continued. Oh, he's going to pull it up. Having a little conversation with him. Hey, how you doing? This is this. This is that. Damn. Well, here's There's the thing. The His overlord is going to... They're going to meet each other, so he's going to know exactly where he is. And that is a beautiful point. And this mm -hmm. whole time, Ash Return is thinking, what a lovely opponent. He's going That's 10 hands. Oh, my gosh. This is the worst thing you can do right now or, against or what Rush is doing. Is that right? No, I mean, it's not bad. I mean, it beats 12 pool. He's putting a hatch before a pool. It's got to be the worst thing you can do. Oh, look at this. Oh, my God. Rust Brain is sending two drones out. What are these two drones doing? He's going to sunk in him. He's dead. Oh, he was thinking about sending him back. No, he's just trying to go around the Overlord. Wait, where's he going? Is he? Oh, he's really taking the long way. Okay. Okay, oh he's being God. super safe. He is going around the Overlord. I thought he was scouting the wrong place, even though it's... No, Overlord he's just being super through. safe, so he, so he doesn't see. Genius. Oh, this is evil. Evil, evil, evil. It feels right, though. So, okay, he sees the lanes coming out, so right now he needs to cancel his gas and drop two creep colonies in his base right now. He cannot, he cannot wait. And Russ Brain isn't even making an overlord. He's supply block. Oh, he's just saving it for his... Yeah, you're right, you're right. He's saving it for his creeps. Oh, man. Damn. Okay, you need to pull two more. Okay, good. So he pulls five drones. But it's not going to be enough. Surprise, motherfucker. Supplies, motherfucker. Some fries. Hey, hey, his spawn just finished. He's going to make some sunks. When he does... Oh, he's got to be attacking. What's he doing? Oh, ho, ho. Okay, yeah, he's got it. So he needs to cancel this sunken because it's going to die in one hit. Yep. Can Ash return? Return from this. No. Ash return, thinking to himself, why, man? We just had such a nice little okay. change. If, if you guys can look right here and see exactly what he's doing, he is targeting his eggs. So you target the eggs so they cannot spawn any more units. Oh my god. Thank you for pointing that out. There's just layers and layers of uh, bad manner in this game. Oh man. That's it. Ash Return being super GM, but probably tilted. Oh, he's mad, dude. I'd be so furious right now. <laughs> I was wondering how it's such a fast game, because whenever the game starts, your your screen is up for the replay length. And before I even clicked it off, like one or two specs had already went through. And I'm like, oh, my God, this is going to be a really short game. And then I saw the five pool, and I'm like, yep. 
Two one for Russ Brain. Can he continue this onslaught? The next map is on Fighting Spirits. All right, all right. The modern day Lost Temple. I still think Python's the modern day Lost Temple, actually. Uh, big shout out to Bruno. Pato's dog and Taz, dog number two, who do get along outside of the house, but not inside the house. So Pato has muted himself. Let's get this DVZ action on for the swarm. Mr. Return, top left in red. He has no allegiance to any color, but Russ Brain, bottom left, Magneta. Predictions. Awesomeness. That's what I predict. Drones are mining minerals. Eggs are hatching. A lot is happening in the ZVZ. The larvae are moving around. Are we going to see another five pool? Twelfth pool. Pass expansion. Just want to send a big shout out to the people who did join the stream to uh, check out. Show match. Featuring Russ Brain, who is rarely featured in any broadcasted events. He likes to keep his skill confidential and only bring it out when he needs to kick some ass. 2-1 for Russ Brain. Oh, let's see here. So it looks like he wasn't really affected last game at all by uh, what Russ Brain did to him, because he said, "I'm still going. I'm still going a fast hatchery." <laughs> so what is it? This is a this is a twelve hatch, eleven pool from Ash Return. So he's looking for a link play this game. <clears throat> all right. Well, I think Russ Brain is going for a kick-ass play. <laughs> Spawning pool will be done in a few seconds here for Russ Brain. Halfway done for return. So, is he going three hatch before gas? Boy, he's he's ballsy this game. I love it. Return has not scouted with the second overlord, which is stopped. It is natural. I'm not sure if that was intentional. But Russ Brain should discover... Returns location shortly. However, return is scouting in a different direction with the second overlord. But his hatchery at the natural is going to be discovered by Russ Brain. So he's going for a, uh, a Ling heavy game to secure his second gas. Now he's going to be really behind here. I've only really seen this build, and it's very uncommon. I've only seen this happen whenever the Zerg player actually goes Hydralisks instead of Mutas. So he secures his, his expansion early while preventing his opponent from expanding. And he goes a straight Hydra play with a little bit of lanes to buffer. But can't really say I agree with it. It's Brain is going to gonna get in with two links. He's got speed. He's going to check out what's happening. He's like, he's oh my drones. god, he has no gas yet. He's so laughing right now. He's as soon as he sees this, he needs to maybe suck into his ledge, add a sunken towards his ledge. Well, you know what? Return looks like he has a pretty strong economy. 
His third hatchery is going to finish up. He can make a lot of links, can he? Yeah. And he's just going to throw them at Russ Brain. Just 1A, 2A, 3A. Rally that shit. Okay. So, another hatchery going down for return. What the fuck is happening? Really? What? This is crazy. This yeah. is crazy. And Russ Brain leaves his base with Zerglings after seeing three hatcheries and many Zerglings. Does not want to stay in his base. His spire is 25% done. Okay, so he does sunken at his ledge right here. So I do agree with that. I don't know if Return needs that sunk creep colony. Uh, I'm guessing it's going to be made into a spore and not a sunken. Well, that doesn't make I sense. I am wrong. Yeah. Uh, well, He's just being extra careful, I guess. He doesn't know if... Russ Brain is playing brain tricks on him. Going Ling Heavy. Got to get his Evo Chamber up. Like, he's got to know Mutas are coming soon, right? He's not scouted the main with his Overlord. Mm -mm. This is some weird play right here. His first Overlord scouted top right, bottom right. He's just been unfortunate not to get the uh, scouting intelligence that Russ Brain has received so far. With his lings and now his uh, overlord. Where's the Evo Chamber? Us Brain is upgrading plus one attack on his mutas that are yet to make an appearance. Here comes the Hydras. They do. Return. The hydras, hydras aren't enough. Hydras absolutely are not enough to hold Why? off you to play. They don't. He doesn't Spore, have an expansion force, though. Force range, attack speed, health. Them being stationary, it's 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 like it's he's not got an expansion not though. Look how many drones he's got. He's got twenty five drones to fifteen. This yeah, is not like, looking good for Russ Brain for for me. But it's it's like not having missile turrets as Terran against your Zerg opponent, even though you got Marine Medic stem range. It's and not an expansion, enough. man. Yeah, it's not man. enough to he's hold got off. Ten more drones, man. Watch if he if he <laughs> micros well. What are those mutas doing? They're just flying. They're scouting for a over random direction. If I agree. Yeah, see, he's got time to get his spore colonies up now. Return is like shit. My overlord has been discovered. Both of them. Oh my god, he's gonna lose two overlords. That hurts. But he's got a good economy. So uh, right minus now. two overlords, two creep colonies, two spores being made. Another spore. Yeah, that's that's a heavy in investment right there, right? He just dropped. Uh, yeah, but he has an expansion. He's got 22 drones. He can camp mm -hmm. out and, and just build his army up, get plus one attack on his Hydras, which he's doing. So he's balling, you're saying. He can afford several hundreds. Yeah. Uh, See, animals. right now, Russ Brain needs to expand. Does he, like, though? I feel like he feels he needs to kick some ass. I put a spore colony on the bottom side of this ex bottom expansion, and I would just absolutely pump nothing but hydralisks. Here comes the mutas. Takes down one drone. One of the mutas is almost dead. He's got to be careful. <clears throat> nice muta micro. It takes out, I think, three drones so far. Does lose one muta. Three more mutas are going to join to make. Six and three more are going to join those six, bringing him to nine. Russ Brain has some Zerglings camped at 12 o'clock, just so chilling. I guess he's just saving them for in case of return, just moves out, run him in. Best thing to do do a Ling Scout as red, return. Do a Ling Scout, see what he has. If he doesn't have an expansion, add oh one God. more colony. These are a he's, lot of mutas, man. Because yeah. you're not going to break his ramp. Oh, he's losing a lot of drones. See, this is what I'm talking about. Oh you my can. God. Return has had enough. He's moving out with his Hydralis and his Zerglings. He's going to attack. This is it. Hmm. No tolerance for this shit. 
Russ Brand is going to pick up two Hydra Lists with his Mutas. He's going to lose an Overlord. He's supply blocked right now. This is not looking good for Russ Brand. He does have three Sunkins above his ramp. He's going to put down another Creep Colony. He has nothing blocking his ramp right now, but he's going to guess what? Run in with the Zerglings. Here comes he's the counter. From for both sides. Russ Brand puts base. down several Creep Colonies. Oh my god. Oh, and Zerglings are in the main base. And there's no Sunkins there to protect. Return. Yeah, see, this is... This, this is not looking good for return. Yeah, he should have just camped up. He had an expansion, add a sport colony, just chill. That heavy investment from Russ Brain. A lot of creep colonies and sunkins were made. How do you break through that? You don't. You don't. You just make sure he doesn't get another base. And you're fine. It's two bases against one. He just lost his second overlord, his third overlord. It looks like return is going to lose his main. Yeah. 100%. If you kind of look at it, not thinking about the mutas so much, they have one base each. You know, they got their main infrastructure there. He's got his Hydralis Den. Returned us. Rust Brain's got his Spire. Rust Brain has two more drones. But you know, his supply is uh, more than 10. That's it. It's over. I don't think Return feels so, and he's sticking around. So you know what? Fuck this. I can do it with my gnat. <laughs> Rust Brain has made several drones. The drone count is 22 right now, pushing more than 300 APM. It looks like he's going to put down a hatchery, add his gnat. A Hydra list from return is going to spot it and squirt, squirt, squirt until I guess Russ Brain takes out that Hydra list. If you're watching this exclusive show match featuring Russ Brain and Ash Return, I want you to go and find a bottle of vodka, preferably made in Russia, and take a shot with me. This is something to celebrate, my friends. Lurker has come out for Russ Brain. I really? guess he's saying, you know what? I can make Hydralis too, and because I have Lair, Lurkers. That's actually really interesting. Hydralists lurkers. are not very good against lurkers. I don't know, are they? I, I'm guessing. Oh yeah, hydralists eat lurkers, but okay, good. But they they demolish the zerglings. So uh, any zerglings that Red makes to buffer for his hydras, so the hydraling doesn't overwhelm him, is useless. And it's actually not a bad bad thing to do. <sighs> you know what? Ash returns like fuck this. I'm gonna make a hatchery at my main. There's creeps spread out, so he puts down an evolution chamber before he disappears. I like that. So he can put up some spores, I'm guessing, to protect it. He's got some hydralists at his main, just in case the mutas pop in. Well, he lost all of his drones by not sending them down to uh, assist with the uh, muta harass. He's got 10 drones, man, yeah. Against 12, 27 from Russ Brain. 12 to 27. That's more than the 13 minute mark. 300 APM. You psych, do you have 300 APM? Nope. I have watched you play. You do not, sir. Well, if Just I'm Zerg, it out, I'm it's it if, it's, if I'm Zerg and it's two versus two, I usually get about 220, 250. Oh, that's Depends. pretty good. Now, my Terran? Protoss? No. <laughs> no. The only reason I got that high APM is because I'm sitting here constantly clicking my mutas all over the fucking map. <laughs> you Zerg players know. Like, oh yeah, I got high APM. I can click 70 times and hit one constantly. Yeah, Pato. <laughs> APM spammer. Muta is doing some scouting here. You know what? Ash returns looking not so bad. Give him some time. 
You could come back. No. I think Rust Brain's got to be careful too, right? If you if you have like a lot of Hydralis, uh, that can kind of be deadly. You but know, he does. His Mutas, he doesn't have that many. He has six Lurkers, some Zerglings. There, there isn't a huge army from Rust Brain, if you think about it. Yeah, but he's not dying. He's got these six Lurkers positioned to where it's going to funnel in his forces. His supply count is mostly drones. Rust Brain, I'm speaking of. So well, even, even without the drones, though, I mean, he's still like 20 supply ahead. He's playing careful. You know, there's situations where you're ahead and then one huge battle happens and you're not, and all the casters and observers got it wrong. <laughs> well, I think that happens quite often <laughs> in StarCraft, and I'm always surprised. But that's what makes it so good, right? Two evolution chambers in rust brain's base so he'll be he'll be one one uh before ash return is this right he's got one right now on his Take, needle spines I taking it ever actually said that out loud taking another expansion 12. i mean he's set dude it's Rust Brain has scouted his main with an overlord which just died and he's probably like oh my god you rebuilt Yes, he did. Return, we love you, but I think everybody's rooting for Rust Brain here. I wouldn't say rooting, but at this point in the game, I, I feel like it's over. All I can hear in the chat is Rust Brain, Rust Brain. Those are a lot of <laughs> it's true. Here. I'm in the chat. Hi, Discord. How are you? Thanks for hey, joining. Man. Yo, what's going on, man? Did you guys already cast the terrible match that I played? And I say we terrible have, because my APM was 30. We have not, but we will. And we got a lot of structures being made. What are these? Spores going up and returns main. Super paranoid about the mutas, which Rust Brain stopped making. I think he plays a lot of mind games. If you play Rust Brain, I think you're, you're, you're in for a treat. This guy's Got a PhD in psychology. He's going to fuck with your head. And he's moving out with a bunch of hydralis. I don't even know if Return is going to expect this many hydralis. Return does have plus one needle spines. Rust Brain has one one care space and needle spines. They have a same number of units, it looks like. Almost. This is a difficult place for Rust Brain to engage. There's a good surround from Return here. I don't think this is looking good for Rust Brain at all. This is one of the situations I was talking about, right? Oh, but for some reason, Return just backs away. Let's Rust Brain come in. And it's looking much better for Rust Brain now. He's going to be able to clean this up. Squirt, squirt. Link's coming in like, what's happening, baby? And Return is just making a bunch of units right now, trying to hold on to right. dear life. So these lurkers are gonna. Drones are like, I'm getting the fuck out of here, man. He's gonna lose that Hydralis then. He's gonna have to make sure he wins. Russ Brain has expanded at 6 o'clock, he's expanded at 9 o'clock. He's upgrading for 2 2. Can return, return from this. Now, nah, here comes the lurkers with the minerals. Oh my god. One is going to be taken out. Another one is going to cause havoc for sure. Love the drone that just decided to go on top of it. One Lurker has over 12 kills. Good game from Ash Return. Well played, Rust Brain. And a thank you from Rust Brain. That wraps it up. 3 1. Russian Starcraft Master. Big sponsor, Brood War. Big shout out to Rust Brain. Keeping at least a foreign Brood War competitive scene alive. 
by putting thousands of dollars into it and uh, motivating and encouraging players to play in events for uh, the entertainment of viewers. I think this is really something that should be commended in and of itself. And it's quite um, wonderful when you think about it during COVID times, everyone's financial.